Hi everyone and welcome uh, to today's little video on teaching you how to use a Google free keyword tool. Um, please go to Google uh, search page, type in Google free keyword tool as you can see over there. Click on your Google search. Uh, is obviously the first one that actually appears there. Make sure it's got adwordsgoogle.com. Select keyword tool external in it. Click on that. It will then take you to the page where the keyword tool is. And obviously, this is where you can get and do a lot of research. Yeah. Um, now, there is a couple of our keyword tool tips you can read there. Um, but what I suggest is firstly, where are you targeting? What are you targeting? So, type there. If you are targeting English, great. If you are targeting the United States, great. If not, change it. And what I'm going to do is I want to change it down to South Africa just to give you a bit of a an idea what we're going to be searching for. Um, then there, there, there it is and it, you come to your one keyword or, per, or phrase per line. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in dog training. Okay, just like that. You can leave the synonyms ticked and yes you can filter down results and you can get very specific to what you want but for the purpose of this video I'm just going to give you the nitty gritty of it and you can then hone down and make it even a little bit better and filter it and once you understand the tool it's so easy it's so easy to use I, I promise you it's, it's you don't have to be a rocket scientist to get this going pops out takes a couple of minutes or seconds or whatever the case may be depending on the keyword that you type out and it will give you then the whole list of whatever dog training people have been typing in irrelevant to this keyword um, as you can see there there are hundreds and hundreds of keywords and what they also do is then give you additional keywords to consider something that training but also to do with dog training puppy training dog obedience you know what I'm saying so it gives you kind of um, other keyword opportunities that you should be looking at and that gives you a huge list and this is just dog training I, I haven't even kind of thought I just thought on dog training because it's quite simple everybody wants to to search for it and it's a pretty relatively easy market okay next thing you're gonna look here is advertiser competition uh, obviously it explains to you the do very high comp as you can see there it highlights very high compet advertising competition and obviously if it's advertising this is for Google uh, AdWords accounts okay guys but do remember it is it also uses the searches that people are searching for so if people are highly competitive on that it is a highly competitive keyword so you are either going to be very 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 good or you're going to have to have a, a product that can actually outsell all the other products out there okay that's what it does then it gives you a search number last month search and approximately average search that it does for the year okay search volume and then you can actually then show all these other little uh, uh, columns that you've got your ad position average cost per click so if you want to see how much it, it costs to advertise there um, if you want to go onto the Google AdWords. It obviously giving you out in rands. I'm trying to do this as it's more relevant to, to uh, South African people. But obviously, like I said, you can change it then again back to the States and then do a competitive keyword research there. Okay, now what you need to understand and remember is that this is broad match. Okay, if there's broad, there's phrase, there's exact, and there's negative. I'm going to give you a little description of what Google says exactly what it is. So we don't get to beat around the bush okay uh, but if you at any time stuck you can see all these question marks out there uh, they do just make it a lot easier for you make you understand what it is all about how it is it pops up a little block choose and if you want to learn you learn so guys don't be afraid don't be afraid to use this tool it can only make your I your your online business a success okay Okay, I'm just going to maximize this and it's going to show you yeah there's the uh, f four matches broad match phrase match exact match and negative keyword okay broad matches 
example where you take tennis shoes and you've put it in in a search and what it will also do is it will pop up a search now so if a user types in search for tennis and shoes you understand that I want to buy tennis shoes or I want to buy tennis sneakers but not tennis you know so it, it, it'll appear with that broad match means it will appear that keyword will appear now if you go down to phrase match and you put it in inverted commas in quotes quotation marks okay uh, it'll only exactly like you have said it tennis shoes not tennis shoe tennis shoes okay exactly that order all right then exact match is then if you surround it with brackets such as it will appear in a specific phrase tennis in that order for example your ad won't show for red tennis shoes but on phrase match it would still show for red tennis shoes do you understand so it, it narrows it down even further just for tennis shoes and negative keywords is you're gonna tell me what the hell do I need negative keywords what does that mean that sounds totally ridiculous but if you think about it logically if you're trying to promote a product and the word free keeps popping up or cheap keeps popping up and you just want to find out is the market really uh, a, a attractive market to be in if you put in cheap with a negative cheap in front of that keyword a negative sign or ne a negative free you basically cancel out every single phrase or every single keyword with your relative keyword like let's say cheap tennis shoes you'll take out the cheap part and you'll just get the real nitty-gritty tennis shoes back I hope that makes sense okay and uh, if not uh, read through through this exact uh, keyword matching options and try and get a gist of it but I promise you it's so easy and you'll understand it so quickly it, it, it's a great learning tool and it's like Justin says uh, if you understand what's happening yeah uh, whatever keyword tool he's gonna give us uh, next time uh, I'm sure it'll blow us all away and you'll actually understand what he's meant yeah and said okay now on to the next one where Justin says we need to look for comp competition in our in our market so you want to know is it is it relative for you to advertise um, in this market now we've we're taking on the, the the whole story of dog training okay then we're gonna go obviously because we South Africa we're gonna take dog training and we're gonna put in open quotations dog let me spell properly okay uh, Google search it now as you can see here on the right, top right there's that's how many websites are competing for this specific keyword all right so if you if you look at it right now over here on your left that's how many people there are they are on this front page doing the business for dog training then on the right is obviously all the the Google AdWords and people wanting to to pay per for that so if you if you went quickly back and you said well dog training these people are 19 and 62 that's what these people are basically paying to be yeah 19 and 62 per click yes people per click so if if they're paying that it means they must be converting it must be a very good market to be in I mean um, if you look at their 32 Rand for it so it, it is definitely a very very expensive market to get in but obviously depending on how you see it and how you interpret the data and what you've got to sell and what you've got to bring to the market so these are how you search for your competitors and I hope this video makes a little bit of more sense on what Justin explained a bit earlier and you know just just give me a shout out on my website uh, give us a comment make it as relevant if it wasn't relevant if I didn't get what you were if I didn't explain properly if I didn't say anything probably let me know and I promise you I'll pop up another video or I'll put up a post and I'll explain it again and give you some other ideas all right